cold night in Laramie. O'Brien, who's got the big arm, finds his number one target. That is Warren Jackson for the catch and the Colorado State first down, 17 yard gain. Stadium in all of college football and a rivalry that has been played for 111 meetings dating back to 1899. Wyoming's defense has been the bedrock. Way defense, Dave, and he comes right off the edge, unblocked. And, you know, it's going to be awfully tough sledding for Colorado State if you're trying to run the ball against this team. Jackson on the move, third and six for the Rams of CSU, and they throw it behind Jackson. He was open, but not a great delivery from Patrick O'Brien. All of college football, of course, punting tonight in the cold. That football could feel a little rock hard, I would imagine. Skies that one right at the 10. No fair catch signal, and maybe there should have been for the Cowboys. They're going to start inside their 10 after the 49-yard. This team has beaten Wyoming. That has been a theme. Thanks, Paul. Play fake. Wyoming throwing the ball on first down, which I don't think I expected. And they throw the ball effectively for a gain of 13 yards. And you want to know why the pressure is mounting on the head coach, Mike Bobo? Well, I think that rivalry losing streak is a big reason why. Vanderwall under pressure, and he is going to go down. So he had a moment there, had nowhere to go with the football, takes the sack. It'll be third and long. He's got Xavier Valaday, who is not 100% healthy, but he is playing at the start of this game. Vanderwall zipped one in there and complete in motion. Wyoming uses the tight ends. Both these teams use the tight ends. A little pressure comes and it's picked up, but Vanderwall is going backwards. Tyler Vanderwall will throw the ball away and save a big loss of yardage. He's the punter. For the Cowboys, Dante Wright, true freshman, has had some problems handling punts of late. He signals fair catch, makes that catch cleanly, and we will have a break here in Laramie on a third and one. O'Brien handoff straight ahead, some power football from the Ram. Patrick O'Brien from the shotgun. That time, right across the middle to Jackson for a first down into Wyoming territory. Dave, big target, 6'6", and he runs a precise route. O'Brien hangs in the pocket nicely. There. Jackson around from right to left. O'Brien is looking in that direction, but he goes down. Pressure got to him immediately. He got away from the first man, but Cash Maulia. We are coming from that inside linebacker position. You're going to see him. He's going to end up coming, bringing pressure. No one, no one touches him, Dave. And, you know, I tell you what, Pat. Conway was the receiver in motion. Tyler Vanderwall, the sophomore quarterback. Wearing the gloves tonight, throws that one, and right near the mark, the catch, and he will have a Wyoming first down. His throwing hand, Brett Brenton, Richard freshman, is in the backfield. They fake the ball to him. Vanderwell looking downfield, and that pass is completed. Now there is a penalty flag thrown in the secondary as well. Looks like they're going to run a play before the quarter comes to an end. It's a handoff. Valley with a big hole straight up the middle. And the biggest gain by far on the ground comes on the final play of the first quarter. That is what Wyoming wants to do. And I expect to see, we'll see a little more of him tonight. I don't believe that is the last snap that he will take in this rivalry game. Second down of five. Halliday bounces it outside. His quarterback gives him a great block. And that springs him free for a big gain in the Rams territory. Xavier Valaday is coming off four straight 100-yard-plus games. And right here, the quarterback, Tyler Vanderwall, gets a, gets a helpful block out in front. And you see Valaday. He's got a little limp. He, he got tackled last week against Utah State. There was a, he got a horse collar through the hole in a big game for the Cowboys. You don't have to pancake anybody if you're the quarterback. And uh, Vanderwall feeling frisky. Wow, he took a big hit at the end of that run. They're at the one, they have Jeff Burrows, who's sort of a fullback tailback hybrid. But it's Vanderwall, the quarterback, who surges ahead. Touchdown, Wyoming. Tyler Vanderwall, the first points of this Border War 2019 go to the Cowboys. Behind Vanderwall, Vanderwall follows the double team. Logan Harris, Keegan Kreider, the center and right guard. And they're just able to push the line of scrimmage. They'll take a look at how many points they can score in a Pac-12 game. And, and they're a shoe-in already for the Pac-12 championship. Nice pass from Patrick O'Brien to Trey McBride, the tight end, who had a nice game last week. He's had a pretty good season. Alabama beats Auburn without Tua. What would the committee do? Hard to know.
play fake and uh, finding the tight end up the sideline McBride who's become a real nice target for Colorado State down here at the bottom of the screen O'Brien throws instead next to Jackson the number two target these days Trey McBride that tight end who's having a great drive another 17 yard completion this first half just about halfway through the second quarter O'Brien in the pocket throws middle that's Jackson caught Inside the five, dragging defenders down to the two from Jackson. Well, Jackson's down here, Dave. He's just going to run right in, and, and you're going to see a throw that just comes in. And, you know, it's just really kind of an extended slant or a short post. There's a nice window that O'Brien throws into, but just look at how Jackson just maneuvers his man. Jalen Thomas, the tailback, Colorado State trying to tie the game. Four big plays through the passing game on this drive. Not much on the ground. Wyoming stuff, stuffs another one. Second and goal, and there is a penalty flag. First and goal, basically those two penalties have sort of offset. Thomas gets upended. And Colorado State cannot run the ball right now. Man wins here in the in the pit, and Goodbo is able to get across. Bring Nate Craig Myers, the Auburn transfer in motion. O'Brien is going to throw the ball. Jackson, catch! Touchdown! Give him a chance to make a play. And Warren Jackson does. The Rams are an extra point away from tying this game. O'Brien really not having to fake run there, but he just has Jackson one on one with Hall. And you just see what Jackson's able to do with his body, shielding the defender away. And then O'Brien tends to make something happen. Second and goal. Tied for the active lead in the FBS. O'Brien. Play fake, keeps it. O'Brien, I don't know about that one. And Patrick O'Brien is not a very mobile quarterback. Right up the middle, center and two guards. They have dominated up front. Well, they went up the middle there, and they went backwards. Good play by the defense of Colorado State. Daquan Jackson, number five. He comes on a run blitz on first down. Pressure comes. That throw is there in traffic now the question is where are they going to spot the ball i think just as we expected in this rivalry a tight hard fought game hard hitting and some tough running from xavier valaday offensive line going to work dave and you just see the get off of the offensive line they're across the ball and into the defensive line of the rams turns into a positive gain into colorado state territory Vanderwall back in, Valaday breaking more tackles right to that line, and they'll say first down Wyoming. Close. Vanderwall from the pocket with time across the middle, and that one is incomplete. He threw it behind his receiver. Didn't have the landing gear down. Third and seven, delay handoff, and Wyoming was ready for it. I'm sure the Cowboys will use that final timeout. They do. So we'll see if the Cowboys can come up with something on special teams. They want an angled punt, and they got the punt away very effectively. Wyoming setting up for a possible return with Conway. Conway close to midfield. That took a lot of time, though. And the matchup has been Patrick O'Brien was spectacular in the first half, going 10 to 12. But each team put together nice drives and 11 and 13 play scoring drives. Vander Wall is going to go down. He gets sacked officially, rolling out, looking for somewhere to go with the ball. Vander Wall from the shotgun, just a three-man rush. So he's got lots of time, but he has nowhere to go with the ball and ends up being tackled again by Manny Jones. Now there is a penalty flag on the turf. The first half, the first drive of the third quarter, they do. And, and they do rush three, and number 33 is the spy, Dave, and he ends up to receive. CSU getting the ball right away here in the early third quarter with the fair catch. Levi Williams, he's able to run the ball here effectively on third down. A big, strong kid. He is going to run a design run play with a block. blocker ahead, and he will get the first down. Just let Major Applewhite go. And Dana Holgerson had a meeting, decided that wasn't the fit for him. He ended up at Wyoming. Vanderwall back in the game on the move. Vanderwall goes down. But well, they needed the speed of Levi Williams in. Yeah, Jamal it's a damaging Hicks. Loss. And, and Jamal Hicks, Dave, comes out of his free safety position, and he's just going to come off the edge again. He just reads and ends up coming free. And game. And now Levi Williams on second and 18 will come in. He hands the ball off. 
straight ahead run for Brett Breton. A nice gain, and with a penalty flag thrown, the sideline and hurting. Getting his first game action of his career here tonight in a big hole up the middle. Valaday, the umpire goes down. It'll be first and goal. Cowboys, 12-yard gain. Beginning of the game, and and watch this big guard come up, and he ends up getting a really nice block on the next level, Dave. And again, Valaday just follows his. It was uh, it was the highest you can get there. Third and goal. Valaday in the backfield. Williams surges into the end zone for his first career touchdown. They're jumping up and down in Canyon Lake. Levi Williams with his first touchdown rush at Houston. And when Major Applewhite was let go, Craig Bull. But it is cold up here also. Uh, there's nowhere to, to hide tonight in Laramie. O'Brien will throw. And Warren Jackson, nice tough guy catch. He knew a hit was coming. Penalty flag is thrown. That could be a targeting, I think. Ja Halliburton, he's just had a uh, terrific year. What do you think? Well, I don't believe it's targeting at all. I think Warren Jackson's the one that lowers his head, and I think. Brian under center, tight end comes in motion. And they do give the ball. There was absolutely nowhere to go. Nowhere. Display, Dave, and they're just able to get a great push at the line of scrimmage. I believe that was a defensive end, Garrett Crawl, number 88. By a touchdown, final two minutes of the third quarter. Play fake. Williams throws. He's got his first completion of his Wyoming career with a block out in front. That is going to be a Wyoming first down. Wyoming with the lead is going to punt the ball away. That one almost blocked. Fair catch signal at the 25 yard line. And you know he's gotten some awfully good players but it's an awfully long way to go to Fort Collins. Ryan with the play fake in the pocket, throws across the middle. Nice pass and a catch for a Colorado State first down. He has several hundred yard games on the season receiving. I love that Patrick O'Brien hangs in the pocket, eyes downfield, never. Now it is a very cool college town tradition. And we just happened to be having some dinner last night when the band rolled in. On third down, a running play, Jalen Thomas straight ahead, and he gets the Colorado State first down. Why wouldn't you go to him? Urban Nine O'Brien's not looking in that direction. He's going the other way with nobody out there except for a Wyoming defender. Now there is a penalty flag. Dante right in motion. O'Brien's going to throw. That's Jackson out there, and he missed him. Incomplete. Had his first career touchdown. He had never played in a game until tonight. Play fake, and he gets tripped up. He had one man to beat, and that was Manny Jones. Jones has been really the, the best defender for the Rams tonight. He plays that edge run wonderfully down the line. He doesn't bite. Playing for Mike Bobo, third and eight, Cowboys. Vanderwall throws. Wow, dangerous pass into traffic incomplete. Quarter at home is exactly the opposite of what he wants. Pressure to punt again. They got good pressure up the middle. Fair catch inside the 25 with a touchdown on that drive. Otherwise, they have barely moved the ball. But they've got the seven point lead. O'Brien in the pocket, whistles one in there, complete. And that's going to be a Colorado State first down. We uh, wrap up. The wind chill has dropped. It now feels like it's two degrees below zero in Wyoming. O'Brien across the middle and a catch by Warren Jackson for a Colorado State first down. Double Warren Jackson and they're just late getting to him, and Patrick O'Brien's able to stick the ball in. He drives it in that time, and really a quality throw that time by number 12 and finding his. Wyoming drops a uh, defensive back much deeper. They'll throw to Jackson, and it goes a little high, maybe through his hands, incomplete. Wyoming rushes four. O'Brien kind of backpedaling, will throw. And it's high incomplete on third and one. He's going to keep it. Williams straight ahead for the Wyoming first down. The true freshman playing for the first time tonight has made some big plays. And he's leaning on the true freshman. Levi Williams stays in this game. Six and a half minutes to go. Play fake. Williams throws over the middle. He's got his man caught. First down, Austin Conway. He hung in there, Williams did. He took a big hit, and now he's hurting. Penalty. So Vanderwall back in. 
is the seventh personal foul penalty called in this game. There goes Valaday down the left sideline. Boy, Valaday so good following his blockers. And uh, on the ground tonight. And now down to the 20. Cowboys handed off. Valaday could not get away that time. There is Daquan Jackson, the sophomore. Second and 13, Williams designed quarterback run to the middle of the field, tackled at the 20. That clock continues to wind, almost a five minute drive here. With a touchdown lead, three points would be big. Fake on the sort of jet sweep action, and that can't happen for Wyoming. One thing you can ill afford is a sack in that case, and it really takes you completely out of field goal position. Ellison Hubbard, the veteran. High snap, good hold, kick on the way, and it is good. How about that? And that feels good for a guy who's had a miserable season. Good night in Laramie, Wyoming. And he kicked it right down. The that has taken the Rams' chances of ending that losing streak in rivalry games down quite a bit. The throw to the tight end Trey McBride who's had a nice game right to the first down mark they get the spot and, and they're starting to get over the ball now and snap it as quick as possible. O'Brien going deep down the middle it's going to be intercepted intercepted out of the play here Patrick O'Brien take a look you got Wilson in the center he's going to drop back in the middle Dave and you, you know he has such good ball skills and again see how deep he is and you know again the next level linebackers are required to go down the field and third and three Levi Williams the red the uh, true freshman quarterback who's played a big part in this one hands the ball off and that'll just about do it first down Wyoming Colorado State's already used two of their timeouts now Valaday they're down to three Williams keeper spins away hang on to the football he did to be their seventh victory of the year the keeper and that's a first down Levi Williams still going inside the 10 the true freshman that's a nice run you and I were digging and trying to find Levi Williams highlights we had to go to YouTube and in high school he was dragging five guys along the way that now will have the honors of going into victory formation. He and his Cowboys, Vanderwall takes the knee and look at them sprint. You know exactly where they're going. Before the final seconds tick off the clock on senior night, the bronze boot will stay here in Laramie.